आउज़बिल्लाशैतरिम बसमीम याजीन आमन कुतब आलकम सयाम कमा कुतब आलिन अमिन कबल कम लम तत्न बाद आउज़बिल्लाशैतरिम वर्रासन फ़िलमून आमन्ना बिही कुल्लुमिन इंद रबिना वमा यकरबाब रबिश रहली सदरी व यसरली अमरी वाहलानी यफ़ा कौली my respected brothers and my sisters today i am going to talk to you about a very important topic you know when i visit any community these days i see our youth they are confused about the religion about faith they are not getting the answers they need they have questions but they don't get the answers the way they should and somehow we as a muslim have this misconception that islam is a name of blind faith and that is only because we have very superficial understanding of this deen when allah subhanahu wa taala has sent this ayah on prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the ground of arafa time of hajjatul wida in which allah subhanahu wa taala say al yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum al islam deena when you came to prof uh, when you came to hazrat umar radhiyallahu taala anhu and said if we would have received this aya in which allah subhanahu wa taala is saying that i have perfected your deen and i have completed my neema on you wa raditu lakum al islam adina and i have chosen this deen islam as a way of life for you and on top of so he said if we would have received this aya that we would have made that day the day of eid that allah subhanahu wa taala our khaliq and malik is saying that today i have perfected your deen and i have completed my neema and i have chosen this deen for you not only that allah promises inna nahnu nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizun that i am the one who has revealed this these ayas this book this message this deen and i will be the one and i will be the one who will protect this deen this message this book up until the last human being on this planet my brothers when allah has perfected this deen that means that this deen has all the answers human being needs all the knowledge we need every question should have answer in our deen and there is nothing wrong in asking question when the most beloved prophet when one of the most beloved prophet of allah subhanahu wa taala khalilullah friend of allah can ask question to allah subhanahu wa taala i want to see how you will raise life from the dead one my brothers and my sisters so one thing in quran itself you know reminds us again and again that have contemplation tadabbur on ayaz of allah subhanahu wa taala that's why imam ibn taymiyah has said hour of contemplation on ayaz on signs of allah to on signs of allah subhanahu wa taala is better than ibada of 1000 years my brothers and my sisters when allah subhanahu wa taala mentions about the qualities of the pupil of contemplation and tadabbur in surah ali imran when allah say allazina yaskuruna allah qiyaman wa qudan wa ala junubihim wa yatafakkaruna fi khalqi as-samawati wal ard rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batila subhanaka faqina azaban nar when these people who do our zikr they remember us in standing sitting and laying down position and they do tadabbur contemplation on our ayas immediately they say rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batila subhanaka faqina azabannar 
Ya Rabbul Alameen, you have not created all this in vain for no reason. There is a purpose and you are the only one who is flawless. There is no fault in any creation of you. We witness Ya Rabbul Alameen. وَالرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْإِلْمِ يَقُولُونَ آمَنَّا بِهِ كُلُّمْ مِنْ عِنْدِ رَبِّنَا The people to whom we have given well-grounded knowledge, people of ilm, people of knowledge, when they see our ayahs, they immediately declare their shahada, their iman, كُلُّمْ مِنْ عِنْدِ رَبِّنَا And all this is, they say, is from Allah Rabbul Alameen. My brothers and my sisters, so this is a complete way of life that Allah has given us this nema as a complete deen. So we should be able to answer the questions of our youth. My brothers, so today inshallah, my job is that I want to make it very clear that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not sitting on seventh heaven and controlling my life. Rather, I should have this understanding that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with me 24-7. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is around me. I can meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whenever I want. I can experience the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every second with every breath of my life. How I can do that? And if I can really accomplish that, then my Iman will be a vibrant Iman, not a stagnant Iman. Because Iman which is stagnant, you cannot go very long with that Iman. You cannot perform to your best of your potential by having stagnant or confused or half-hearted Iman. My brothers and my sisters. So for stagnant Iman, so for vibrant Iman, you need to refresh your Iman every second, every moment of your life, my brothers. Because when you have stagnant Iman, confused Iman, I have seen in our communities three reactions. Stubborn, adamant, or anger, or inferiority complex. These are the three reactions that I see. People who have stagnant, jamid, sakit Iman, confused, not sure, half-heartedly they are Muslim because, you know, our, our generations are Muslim, my parents are Muslim, so that's why I'm Muslim, but I'm not convinced, I'm not sure about it. So it brings this, this stagnant Iman, Jamid Iman brings th these three reactions that I'm, I'm stubborn, adamant, or anger, or inferiority complex that I will hard my religion, I will never feel proud. How can I feel proud about things that I'm not convinced? I'm not fully on board, my brothers and, and my sisters. You know, the ayah of Quran, which I read in front of you from Surah Baqarah. Ya ayyuhallazina amanu kutiba alaykum uthiyamu kama kutiba ala lazina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that we have prescribed fasting for you so that you may attain taqwa. What is taqwa? Taqwa actually is what I just said. You know, you want presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala around you 24 seven. Whenever you want to meet, you can meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can witness the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taqwa is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taqwa is haya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you feel presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 24 7 no matter where you are taqwa is that you have love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart taqwa is that allah is with you the feeling of presence of allah with you 24 7 taqwa is god conscious taqwa is fear of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fear not like a worldly fear ibn qayyim rahmatullah says that in worldly fear, you want to run away from those things. But when you have fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you want to go closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because that fear is out of love, that you are afraid, you are fearful that you do not want to lose the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
So I'm going to give you three tips and these three tips are that how I can really feel the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how I can attain taqwa, you know, taqwa, God, how I can attain taqwa that I can have presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 24 seven around me. My brothers and my sisters, number one, we have to have this belief that Allah is haq. Everything Allah does is khair and Allah is jameel. And I'm going to focus on this part. Allah is jameel. We should develop this taste of appreciation of jamal of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us these ayahs in Quran. Ayah means sign that through which we can really see Allah Rabbul Alameen. One is ayahs of Quran. There are ayahs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all around us. We need eyes of our heart to appreciate the Jamal, the beauty, takhliq, the khalq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We witness, you know, these birds, sky, sun, moon, water, but we are ignorant because we are blind. We don't have those eyes to appreciate and see the Jamal of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, we need to experience nature. We are these days confined with such an artificial life that we don't even witness, we don't experience nature. And when we find little time to experience nature, we are busy in taking pictures. Instead of living in that moment, and experiencing nature and having our feelings, our heart, our mind, our emotions immersed in that Jamal of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that it can uplift my Iman. I can see in every leaf the whole universe. I can witness presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all this beauty and Jamal of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why in the book, about 500 most successful people the author has written one of the quality of these people was they used to go every month to spend some time to experience nature because when you experience nature it opens your mind it answers your question it gives you new ideas my brothers and my sisters as a muslim when we will do tadabbur contemplation as Imam Ibn Taymiyyah has said, we will get the reward. One hour of contemplation, that's why it has reward of more than 1000 year ibadah. Because through contemplation, through tadabbur, you experience a different level of Iman. The halawa, the sweetness of Iman. Your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets to a different station, higher station. My brothers, so we need to develop this taste that we should appreciate the, the beauty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided you and me all around us as a sign, as a ayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second tip I want to give you that we should develop this attitude of gratitude, genuine and conscious gratitude, not just lip service. Whenever we take all the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as granted. My brothers and my sisters, you know, we, we use Allah's bounties every second, one or the other. But we are so ignorant. We are so negligent that we don't appreciate those bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, I will give you just one example. This sun. If this sun, because of the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, stops rising from the east, if this sun does not come for 18 hours, completely doesn't come out, not that it's behind the, uh, it's behind the clouds, no, does not come at all for 18 hours. Every living creature on this planet will be dead except very tiny microbes deep in the earth. My brothers and my sisters, this sun provides us energy, what energy we need all year long 
to run our factories, to run our planes, to run our cars, to run our air condition, the energy we need in whole year on this earth, the sun provides that energy to this earth in two minutes. We drink this water, we eat this food, we, you, we drink water, we don't even appreciate that what a bounty and free. What if Allah would have given command of developing water and air in the hands of human beings? Can you imagine how miserable the life would be if these are in control of human beings? How expensive, difficult and how these millionaires and billionaires, they will manage and they will deprive the underprivileged people from these things, how, how they will do the rationing of these things. We take all these bounties for granted, my brothers. But if you are using any bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and when you drink a sip of water, or when you eat morsel of food, and you say thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you wake up in the morning, and you know more than 150,000 people every day do not get chance to get up in the morning. They are gone from this world. And Allah has given you this opportunity to witness another day. How many of us, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I came from death to life again, my brothers and my sisters. Shukr, gratitude when we use bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I'm saying, Conscious and genuine shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not just the lip service. The third thing, you know, I will say, my brothers and my sisters, that to develop this taqwa, the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 24 7, you know, meeting Allah every day. The third tip I have that have this anticipation, eagerness that you want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Excitement about meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, our brain works in such a way that if you make something excited, that you are excited about something, you are happy, you will enjoy, you want to do that thing because you will be more energized, happy, and it will bring coolness to your eyes. Our brain works in such a way then if we are excited about something, our brain will provide means and tools to achieve that goal. But if we tell our brain, you know, I, I'm not happy, I don't want to do, I'm lonely, I have no energy, then brain works in such a way that it will really make you deprive of any energy, you will feel lonely, you will not find any way out from that. Life is mortal, we all have to die. We have to go from this dunya. This is a reality of life. When we have to go from this dunya, why not have some eagerness, excitement that I want to meet my Rabbul Alameen one day. And when you will have this excitement, anticipation, eagerness, you will be more conscious of making sure that you follow the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will be more conscious of the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all around you every second of your life with every breath of your life my brothers and my sister you will be more careful when you conduct your life in this dunya so i will say three things appreciation of the beauty of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the eyes of your heart so that you can witness the presence of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all around you every second of your life have attitude of gratitude with genuine and conscious effort. Number three, have some excitement, eagerness, anticipation, meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives you me tawfiq that we can really develop this taqwa, God consciousness and this feeling of presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all around us my brothers and my sisters. So I will say to you, Wallahi, if we have firm faith on our deen and we are proud of our deen and we know this deen is the complete way of life and I am sincere to find answers to my question, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never leaves that person alone who is sincere in seeking answers to his questions. This Quran can guide some people and this Quran can misguide some people. If somebody is going to go to Quran to find fitna, to find confusion, Quran is going to confuse him. But if somebody goes to Quran that he is looking for some hidayah, some guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this Quran will open its door for him or her of hidayah. My brothers and my sisters, so we should all be open for discussion with our youth. If I have any question, I should ask that question to myself, to people of knowledge, and I should be on board wholeheartedly, convinced so that I can perform to the best of my potential, so that I have excitement, I am proud of my religion. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives you and me tawfiq, that we can stay on our Islam, and when we die, we die with our Iman, and when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will say, Inni zanantu anni mulaqin hisabiya. Life was difficult, full of challenges. But Ya Rabbul Alameen, I knew that I have to meet you one day alone by myself. And I was doing preparation of that. And I want to hear that day when I meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'inna irji'i ila rabbi kiradiyatan mardiya fadkhuli fi ibadi. وَدْخُلِي جَنَّتِي وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ اللہ اکبر